Hello everyone, and welcome to COF Path 1 Dungeon Guide. This is not a speedrunning guide, it's just a guide for newer players looking to do the dungeon for the first time. Right when you spawn in, you want to head down to the marker after you talk to the first guy at the first gate. Head to the marker to start the first cutscene. After the cutscene, you will get to pick your path, and you want to head to this doorway to the west. You'll have to wait it's a little while for mags to show up and blow open the door. This should be the most waiting you have to do for this run. Everything else goes fairly quickly. We completed the run in 11 minutes and you should be able to get it down faster once you've done it a few times. So once the door is blown open, you want to rush through as a group and kill off the turrets first because they have massive AoE damage that will take your team out. They are the ones that spawn the red circles. The two mobs spawn the lines, so you can avoid the lines a little easier than the circles. Take out the turrets as fast as you can, at least one of them, and then take out the mobs. Here I try and res somebody, but he had died just a second before, apparently. Took me a minute to notice it. So I just finish off the mobs and the turret, and then pick him up, and we're on to the first boss. Head down the ramp. If you're not screwing around with wagon potions, it goes a lot quicker. Everybody should be down here, and we normally stack on the rock, just so everybody's grouped up. Stack my it when we can and DPS him down. If you're quick enough, you won't even get this effigy on you, but Wagon Potion slowed us down quite a bit. He's fairly basic. He does hit hard, but other than that, there's not much to watch out for. Put out as much damage as you can and he'll go down. Grab your small chest from him and head up the ramp and we're on to the next part. Once this gate opens, there's a bunch of mobs to run through. So I spawn a smoke field and have everybody blast finisher it so everyone has stealth and then run through. You can skip all of these mobs. The turrets you want to dodge through. Head through the tunnel and then either take a right and go into the corner like I do or go past the event and onto one of the ledges. This event you have to kill four acolytes several times. I think you need ten kills on them total. I can take them down pretty quick and most everyone can, but I get three kills while well, the rest only get one, and then I just jump over to a ledge and stealth myself to drop aggro. You can solo this part if you're careful, so I'm not too concerned about what my team's doing throughout this. Next set of acolytes spawn, and I jump in on them, take them out quick, and head back to the ledge. Most people go for the longer ledges. I just don't want to be around my group when they have all the aggro. You don't have to kill any mobs other than the acolytes, so just stay alive and take out the acolytes. Here's the last two kills that we need. One down and the other down. And we're on to the next part. Grab your chest and head to the next doorway past the waypoint. If anyone died, just have them respawn. This part, once the doors open, there will be three or two places to grab fire on this side and a bunch of big fireballs that roll back and forth across the tunnel. You, you need at least three fires to the other side to get the next gate open. So have everyone in your team pick up a fire and you can head across if you do two at a time and then pause and then two at a time. It's easy to get across. You can go straight through two with some dodging. If you dodge roll, it'll avoid the damage. Drop the three and light the razors at the other, other side to get the gate open. Next part, once the gate's open, there's four razors that people have to stand by to open the next gate to let somebody else enter the gate and kill off the gate controller. When you're standing next to a brazier, mobs constantly spawn, so you just need four people to stay alive the whole time while one person does the killing. And you can just ignore the elite mob in there and just take out the controller. If somebody falls off the brazers, you do get knocked back and, and the uh, gate controller becomes invincible. Once it's dead, though, you're, you grab your chest and head through. And we're on to the final boss after this. Now everybody can just run past the elite mob, but my team got 
caught up on it for a minute, so I head back and res the person that goes down, and then we jump immediately on to the boss afterwards, and just stealth and res, get everybody past him, and jump right on the final boss. Now you could take a second and stack my before starting the fight. Uh, the boss doesn't do anything too special. Basically just put DPS out on him. Avoid the red circles, they will knock you back. The smaller ones. He does do a blast fire around him, which is the larger circle that surrounds him. But it, you should be able to survive it even in melee range. Watch out for his flamethrower that probably does the most damage. You can just circle him and try and stay behind him to avoid most of that. If you time your dodges all correctly, you can avoid all of the damage. He'll go down fairly quickly for any group, really. Just keep everyone alive and DPSing. Once he's down, you can skip the kind of final cutscene and grab your chests and your bonus chest. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching. If you're interested in running any of the other paths, there are links on the screen now.